Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, magsasagot tayo ng isang algebra problem, specifically a uh, mixture problem to mga Lodi Cakes, which is, or which was asked by one of our subscribers, si Idol Ruben, uh, Ruben Tuting, 525 yung username niya sa YouTube. And also guys, before natin sagot ang pala to, shoutout muna kay Ellie Francisco at saka kay Idol Kenneth Bolo. So mga nag-comment din sa TikTok video natin, which is ina-upload ko rin naman to mga Lodi Cakes. And I hope you all the best. More power sa inyo mga Lodi Cakes and alam ko magiging successful kayo. Okay, the problem is this. A given alloy contains 20% copper and 50% tin. How many pounds of copper and tin must be melted with 100 pounds of the given alloy to produce another alloy analyzing 30% copper and 10% tin? So unang-una siguro kapag binasa kasi natin yung problem, siguro malilito tayo, ano po ba yung kailangan natin gawin, Sir IJ? So, first and foremost, try muna natin analyze. Ano po ba yung hinahanap? First, ang tinanong, how many pounds of copper and tin? So, kung mapapansin natin, copper and tin, so we can represent them uh, as two separate variables. So, let's say, ang hinahanap natin is yung copper is, the amount of copper, let's say that is C. So, copper, ito yung copper amount natin. Tapos, let's say, yung tin natin is the amount of the tin na kailangan nating i-melt. So, pagsasamahin kasi natin yan, so, imimix po natin sila mga Lodi Cakes. So, how do we generate our equation now, Sir IJ? How do we do it? So, analyze natin. The given alloy contains 20% copper and 5% tin. Eh, 100 pound daw yung given dun sa alloy natin. Kung mababasa natin yung problem, 100 pound yung binigay. So, that means that 20% of 100 mga Lodi Cakes that is equal to parang 20 pounds na copper meron sa kanya, mga Lodi Cakes. Tama po ba? 20 pounds na copper meron dun sa given alloy natin. Dun sa 5% naman, so that is yung 5% ng 100. Obviously, kitang-kita naman natin, that is 5 pounds of tin, mga Lodi. So, paano na natin ngayon i-generate? Paano natin malalaman yung value ni C? Paano natin malalaman yung value ni T? Okay, so ganito, makinig pong maigi ha. Imi-melt daw natin, pagsasamahin natin sa isang daang pounds ng given alloy. So, paano kaya yun, Sir IJ? So, meron tayong C, which is the amount of copper that will be melted, and T, the amount of copper, or sorry, the amount of tin that will be melted with 100 pounds. So, the total amount, based on that, the total amount that will be have, that we will be having is equal to 100 plus C plus T. Kasi pagsasamahin natin sila from the 100, magdadagdagan ng amount ng copper, hindi natin alam kung ilan. And you will also add the amount of T, which is T. 100 plus C plus T. And how do we do the other equations? Or the systems of equations, rather. So sinabi, di ba, 30% daw ng copper yung mag-generate natin. So let us take into consideration first yung copper. So i-consider natin si copper. So case ni copper to mga Lodi Cakes, ha? So, ilan yung copper natin? 20. So, meron tayong 20 pounds ng copper. Ia-add natin kay C, which is yung hindi natin alam, is equal to 30% copper dun sa resulting mixture natin, or the total amount. So, 30% kapag kinonvert natin sa decimal, dati 0.30, or pwede 0.3. So, depende naman, ganun din naman siya. Multiplied by the total, which is 100, plus C, plus E. Ganun siya mga Lodi Cakes, ha? Huwag pong malilito. And then, simplify natin. So, we have 20 plus C equals uh, 30 plus 0.30 C plus 0.30 T. Simplify natin, sir, IJC minus 0.30 C. So, we have 0.70 C um, etong 0.30t lipat sa kaliwa, so we have 0.30t equals 30 minus 20, so that is 10. This will be our first equation. Alright? So we are taking into consideration the case of the amount of copper. That must be 30% in the resulting mixture of the alloy. So last but not the least, so we also have the tin. Consider natin si tin. Ilan po ba si tin dun sa original natin? That is 5. So, yung 5, in natin dun sa hindi natin alam na amount, which is the T, is equal to 10% of the resulting mixture. So, that is 0.10 multiplied by the 100 
plus C plus T. Okay? So, simplify natin. I hope that is clear, guys. Uh, if ever may questions or clarifications, okay, mahiya mag-comment sa comment section. Point 0.10 times 100, that's 10 plus. So, distribute lang natin, guys. 0.10 T. So, we now have, um, dahil ito, naka in terms of C yung nauna natin, so, pwede natin iunahin dito si uh, C, mga Lodi Geek. So, we have 0.10 C. 0.10 minus 1, that is 0 0.9 uh, 90, sige, 90 T equals 5 minus 10 mga Lodi Geeks. That is negative 5 equation 2. Since this is a board problem, so a calculator sa RLAL, pwede nyo nang isolve yung system of equations mga Lodi Geeks. O kaya pwede nyo na namang itry using the, ano, the elimination method. Pero dahil may, uh, may calculators naman tayo, i-maximize na natin yung gamit niya. So solving for this, sa so mode 5, 2 I think, basta may system siya. So, yung two system, two equations, two unknowns. So, that is solving for C, that is equal to 17.5. And solving for T, that is equal to 7.5. So, the answer for this board problem is 17.5 pounds of copper. So, that is copper. Tapos, meron tayong 7.5 pounds ng tin, mga lovely cakes. Yung tin natin, di ba, is in yung symbol niyan. Ayan. Ulitin ko guys, 17.5 po ito. Ha? I hope that is clear, guys, mga Lodi. Ganun po mag-generate ng equation when it comes to solving this type of mixture problems. So, thank you so much to those who keep on supporting our channel. Maraming maraming salamat, mga Lodi Kicks, kasi malapit na rin tayong mga 100,000. And I hope before the end of the year, ma-reach natin yan. And sana mas maraming pa kayo matutunan sa mga math tutorial engineering related contents. Tutorials ni Sir IJ and kita-kits tayo sa mga next match tutorial videos. Bye-bye and God bless.